As we all know, YouTube is flooded with videos showing how to make a face mask if you cannot get your hands on an N95 mask. In this video, we'll be taking a very close look at an N95 mask. I'm going to cut it open, you're going to see how it's layered, and we're going to take a look at each layer under high magnification. Okay, let's zoom in and take a close look at the N95 mask. This mask has an exhaust valve on it. It's nothing more than a rubber flapper that covers an opening. So when you inhale, all the filtration will be done through the fabric. When you exhale, it's going to be blown right out of this area right here. Having a mask with a valve like this is not really necessary. You can have one without it. And actually, you're probably better off not having the valve because if you don't test these properly and the valve does not seat, when you take a deep breath of air, you can sometimes suck in the particles right through this opening here instead of forcing the particles to go where they're filtered. This is an older mask. I've used it around the house for plenty of jobs, so I do not mind cutting it to make this video. Now first, let me zoom into this area of the fabric right over here. When you look at the fabric up close, you can see there's a pattern of squares, but if you look even closer, you're going to see there's very tiny fibers. It appears that each one of those squares is an area that the fibers were pressed down and melted to ensure that they do not move out of position. In order to look at this under the microscope, what I did is on the back side, I cut away all the fabric, and it's right over here. This right here is the outer layer. You can see through it a little bit. Then you have this next layer right here, which is much thicker. And then under that is another layer, just like this other layer here. And then you have this bottom layer, which is much thinner. So let's start by looking under the microscope at this layer right here on top. And right here at 40 times magnification, you can see these polypropylene synthetic fibers. They're very small, measuring in the microns and they form a very tight web, so particles as they get drawn in when you inhale are going to get lodged in between those fibers. If they manage to get through these fibers, there are successive layers that should easily be able to trap the particles. And right here are the same outer covering fibers at 100 times magnification. Underneath that outer layer, which is the covering or cover web, on the front of the mask, it needs to be more rigid. And the reason why it needs to be more rigid is to prevent the mask from caving in when you inhale. So underneath this outer layer, which you just saw, is this thicker material. And I'm going to show you right now under the microscope what it looks like. Right here, you can see that rigid panel. And you can see they look like glass rods. And they're very close together. And at 40 times magnification, you can see that those fibers are larger than the fibers used in the outer covering. There are many of them overlapping. And right here you can see the same fibers at 100 times magnification. Now the next layer we're going to be taking a look at is the inner layer right here. You can see it's much more dense. And there's no reason to look at each one of these in the middle. I examined both layers already and they're both the same. So let's take a look now at this layer under the microscope. 40 times magnification. There are many fibers packed very tightly together and they're much smaller. The smaller spaces along with the electrostatic treatment on the N95 mask will allow smaller particles to be trapped in these layers. And right here you can see at 100 times magnification how much smaller these fibers look compared to the other fibers that we just looked at. Now the last layer I want to look at is the inside. This faces your mouth or your skin and it's much thinner. So let's take a look at this now under the microscope. Once again, 40 times magnification, you can see that there's a wide range of polypropylene fibers, smaller fibers up to larger fibers, and there are some spaces between those fibers. Even though you see those spaces, when you adjust the focus of the microscope, you can see that inside those holes, there are still some fibers that will prevent particles from passing. Now the best material that you can use if you cannot get your hands on an N95 mask 
is a HEPA filter for a vacuum cleaner. And this is a vacuum cleaner bag. You can see I cut part of it out already. So the suction is created on the outside of the bag, drawing the dust into the bag. So you would want to take the inside of the bag and you'd want to face that outward towards the dust particles. Let's take a look at this one now because it's made up of a few different layers. You have that thin layer like the N95 and then in the middle you have that thicker layer just like the N95 mask and over here just like the N95 you have that other layer. So this one has a little bit less in the center compared to the N95 but it is a thick layer. This is electrostatically charged so any small particles that try and make it through will cling to the material. Right here you can see that the outer covering of the vacuum bag is very similar to the outer covering or cover web for the N95 respirator mask. You can see the familiar square where it's been melted with all the fibers and you can see there is a large number of fibers between each one of those squares. You're now looking at the same fibers at 100 times magnification. You're now looking at the thicker center layer of the vacuum bag. And you can see at 40 times magnification, it resembles very closely to the inner layers of the N95 mask. Very tightly packed fibers of varying sizes, especially smaller sizes. Here we're looking now at 100 times magnification and you can see even at 100 times there are many fibers that are extremely small. And right here is the other side of the vacuum bag. You can see where large areas of the fibers were melted together and you can also see how each one of those fibers overlap. The layer that you're looking at does have a little bit more space between the fibers compared to the N95 mask but I'm not really too concerned because the middle layer of the vacuum bag is definitely going to trap almost all of those 0.3 micron or larger particles. And guys, that is it. You now know what an N95 mask looks like under the microscope. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.